हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक इन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन टॉपिक सॉलिड स्टेट टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एंड नंबर ऑफ यूनिट सेल इन एक्स ग्राम ऑफ मेटल फ्रॉम नॉन पैरामीटर्स ऑफ यूनिट सेल दैट इज नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स पर यूनिट सेल एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ यूनिट सेल That is a cube. In previous lectures, we have studied the relation between density of unit cell and molar mass of unit cell. So let us see what is that relation. So density is equal to mass divided by volume. That means number of particles in unit cell into m. That is molar mass divided by volume of unit cell into n a that is Avogadro dose number. Where here n means number of particle, and you know that in simple cubic n is equal to one. In body centered cubic unit cell n is equal to two, and in face centered cubic unit cell number of particle is equal to four. And that relation is what rho that is rho is nothing but density. Rho is equal to n. n means number of particles into molar mass divided by a cube that is volume of unit cell into avogadro's number that is n a and rho means what density so this relation we have already studied and if you rearrange this equation then you can get what m m is equal to rho Into a cube, m is equal to rho into a cube into n a divided by n. So m is equal to rho into a cube into n a divided by n. So today in this lecture we will calculate number of particles in x gram of metal. Now as molar mass contain n a particles. Avogadro's number of particle that means what 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 number of particles because what you know this relation one mole of any substance contain how many number of particle Avogadro's number of particle that is denoted by n that is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 so as molar mass contain n a particle that means avogadro's number of particle then x gram of metal contain how many number of particle so x gram of metal contain x into n a divided by m it will give you what number of particles in x gram of metal so if you substitute the value of m that is m is equal to rho Into a cube into n a divided by n. If you substitute this value in this equation, we get what? See here. Number of particles in x gram is equal to x into n a divided by. You have to substitute here the value of m. That is this rho into a cube divided by rho into a cube. Into n a divided by small n. So here n a n a is cancelled. And what is remain? X x into n divided by rho into a cube. That is equal to number of particles in x gram of metal. So using this equation, you can calculate number of particle in x gram of Metal. Now, how to calculate number of unit cell in x gram of metal? That we will see. So, as number of particles corresponds to one unit cell, n particles corresponds to one unit cell, then x into n, x into n divided by rho into a cube. That is number of particles. Corresponds to how many unit cell? 
so here x into n divided by rho into a cube into 1 upon n that is divided by cross multiplication 1 into this quantity that is x into n divided by rho in divide into a cube divided by n so that is that is nothing but what number of unit cells in x gram of metal. So here n n is cancer. So what is remain? X gram divided by rho into a cube. That will give you number of unit cell in x gram of metal. And number of unit cell in volume V of metal. If we calculate if you want to calculate number of unit cells in a given volume of metal, in which relation we have to use? V, that is volume of unit cell, which is given divided by A cube, that is volume of unit cell, that is A cube. So using this relation, you can calculate number of unit cells in volume V. So like that, here, you can calculate number of particles in x gram of metal using relation x into n divided by rho into a cube. Using this relation we can calculate number of particles in x gram of metal and in the same way here number of unit cells in x gram of metal is equal to x divided by rho into a cube that will give you number of unit cells in x gram of metal and rho that is density is equal to number of particles in unit cell into m divided by volume of unit cell into n. So using all these four equations we can calculate number of particles in unit cell and number of unit cells in x gram of metal. Thank you.